And from that story, we'll move on to Check Me Out, a weekly showcase of Nigerians achieving amazing things around the world. Uh, Jason Unjoku is an entrepreneur and African startup investor. He is the CEO and co-founder of an online distribution company that focuses on producing and streaming Nigerian movies online. Let's check him out. My name is Jason Njoku, founder of uh, Iwoko TV. Check me out. We are comfortably one of the largest um, kind of supporters of Nollywood, uh, Nigerian cinema. So whether you are in Ukraine, um, whether you are in the USA, we essentially want you to have the same experience as if you were sitting here in Lagos with us today. So we want to be that bridge between uh, the people who love Nollywood content and, 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 and obviously like the content producers and the market itself. You know, Iroko started in my bedroom, which is no more larger than the space we're in now. For the first 12 months, it, it didn't work. We didn't have enough capital to be able to build our own product. For the first two years, I never took a salary out of Iroko TV. If I was a logical person, I wouldn't have continued building businesses after the, the sixth or seventh or the eighth business. I would have just stopped, got a full-time job and figured out how to basically pay my bills. my best friend at university, he ended up giving $200,000. It, it, it was easy for me to continue plowing ahead because I had nothing to lose. There was no girlfriend, there was no responsibilities. You know, I was sleeping on people's couches and living in my mom's house, so, you know, I wasn't buying food. You know, there wasn't, I, I wasn't even buying clothes. I wasn't buying anything fancy. So it, I wasn't really part of what you would consider to be the, the young professional uh, uh, kind of group. Today, we're just over 500 people. Um, we have offices in New York, in London, we have two offices here in, in Lagos, we're in Accra, we're in um, Nairobi. Working 100 hours a week sounds long and crazy, but I work with my wife, so I basically see her pretty much every day, all of the time. Um, we typically have lunch here, so um, if she gets food or I get food, I'll bring it downstairs, so we'll, we'll eat lunch together. So we basically spend all of our time together. Outside of that, I essentially um, hang out with my kids. The real difference between me um, uh, in my earlier years of entrepreneurship, I call them the dark years, the first five years, and me post that period, it's just experience. With failure comes experience. In 2009, I was broke, had no money, had to move back into my mum's place. Uh, again, almost 30 moving back into your mum's place is, is never a good look. Failure in the UK is broadly acceptable. Failure in the US is much more acceptable. It's almost like a badge of honour. Failure in the, the Nigerian and African communities in the UK is a completely different um, framework. Failure is like failure is failure. It's actually quite like a negative social experience. Um, so I would definitely ask that uh, any aspiring people don't wear it as a badge of honour. It hurts to fail, it hurts to try your best to do something and ultimately not succeed. But, but if, you, if you show that you have like a, a, almost like a fanatical dedication uh, to, to, to making something succeed, you, you, you typically find that people will, 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 will support you. Jason is doing well. Uh, now to a quick reminder of our top story for today. We examined some efforts by private and public school owners to ensure Nigerian students return safely to schools. If you want to know your thoughts, you can join the conversation right now on Twitter at Just Nigeria TV. And for more on any of our stories, do visit bbc.com forward slash Africa and channelstv.com. That's where we are drawing the curtains on the program today. Thank you for staying with us. Until next time, I am Wally Fakile. Goodbye. <laughs>